Hey Vault Hunters, Stud Doogie here with a video I had no intention of making today. As a matter of fact, I wasn't going to do any gaming today at all. I'm supposed to be sorting my laundry and doing laundry and, uh, you know, cleaning my apartment because I'm an adult. And that's what adults do. They do responsible things. Um, we don't game all day every day. But, as I was uh, sorting the old laundry, um, I had the TV on in the background, and I had it up on YouTube, and uh, Thickfella, which is uh, one of the cool peoples in, our, in the Borderlands community, he does a lot of good stuff for the community, he's put together a, he's putting together, has put together a video series to a guide for Malawan Takedown. And, you know, all of us, every once in a while, we say something stupid. And uh, he said something stupid, one of those uh, what you talking about Willis things. Uh, if you guys don't know that reference, that's to a TV show from the 80s uh, called Different Strokes. Is this the right one? Yeah. And um, uh, he said it, and I'm like, okay. Now I have to make this video. So basically, he's kind of categorized the weapons you need for the takedown. Uh, mobbing and bossing and single target and then in reference to to, um, to the mobbing weapons he dissed the Maggie he said the Maggie gonna have a really hard time in the raid if your mobbing gun is the Maggie and since I was gonna make a video about the Maggie anyway um, I just want to make it clear that that's that's nonsense <laughs> you're not gonna have any trouble in the raid if your mobbing weapon is the Maggie, because as you can see, I don't have any trouble. I don't have any positive modifiers affecting the Maggie right now. And yeah, it's, it's a non-issue. Maggie's a beast. Maggie is just fucking god tier. So I don't know what the hell he's talking about. You know, like I said, we all make mistakes, and I'm not mad at Dick, but it's just maybe it's just an excuse because maybe I didn't want to be do I didn't want to do laundry today. Maybe this is what I'd rather be doing, and I'm blaming it on Dick. Right? So that could be what's going on, right? It could be my own shit and not the fact that he said something that doesn't make any sense. Who's that behind me? Somebody wants something? Somebody wants some this? Right, let's get these guys to spawn. I'm just going to run through, get everybody to spawn, and then just murder every fucking thing. Let's go. Let's go. Everything spawn. Let's get this murderization going. Everything dies. This is the Maggie mobbing, y'all. Maggie doesn't seem to be having any trouble at all with the mobbing duties. Let's get these guys dead. So yeah, Maggie's a monster, especially if you get the right anointments. And for Zane, the cryo anointment is king. Um, once we get these guys cleared, I go into the build. And if you got anything close to this, you're gonna be okay. And you're gonna see that I even restricted myself like I've made myself less powerful and it's not going to be a problem and I, I know what you're saying this is one player difficulty it's not going to be this easy on four player difficulty and you're right it's going to take a little bit more work but it's still going to be doable and it's not going to be like burdensome you know what I mean where is he where is he where is he right, let's get this shit So, uh, again, I'm just giving the, uh, the I'm giving the cap crack blah, blah, Kraken a chance to spawn and come out of the thing because I can't hit him from in from in here with uh, Maggie as effectively as I could. Okay, here he is. All right, let's get a kill. And let's do this. Yeah, that's the Kraken. I just fucked up the Kraken with the Maggie, so... Mag Maggie can't mob. Maggie can mob. Maggie can boss. Maggie is a boss. Maggie is old freak. And this is uh, plus two projectiles, mind you. So, you know what I'm saying? You feeling it? You feeling it? I know y'all feeling it. Y'all feeling the Doogie. Cause y'all the fam. The Doogie fam is cool. It's like only five of y'all, but I like it. You know what I mean? A nice tight-knit fam, the Doogie fam. Alright, so let's see what we're working with here. We're working with 
my god roll Maggie, which is a 30% crit damage. By the way, there's a unicorn. Normally, there's only two variants, or so far, I've only seen two variants of the Maggie baseline variant. What I mean is, there's one that has a higher base damage number at 526 times 6, but a lower critical hit damage number at 21%. And then you have this one, which has the lower base damage number at 501 times 6, but the higher critical hit damage at 33%. I actually found a Maggie, unanointed though, that had the 526 and the 33%. So there's yet a better version out there. This is what I'm talking about. I love this game. You know, because I got all this god tier gear, gear, but there's still even more godder tierer stuff, which is really sweet. So this is for stripping shields, and this is for the boss. I'm just mixing it up. And, you know, you guys know I've been playing with this, and I'm having fun with it. So I'm bringing it into the mix because I have to make the guns, the weapon effective, right? Because, you know, I'm not supposed to be able to beat the raid with just a hand cannon, but I'm doing things to make that possible. So that's that's what I'm talking about. So it's not that he's wrong. It's just that he's not quite right. <laughs> All right, so I'm um, rolling with my Sing Dead. Y'all seen this before. Uh, not quite a god roll because with the Maggie we don't need anything in uh, playing dirty. It's kind of useless. You know how I feel about my band of Sidorak for my Comco collected builds. I'm going with this Icebreaker Victory Rush for the mag size and accuracy. Accuracy helps Maggie proc brain freeze. Cryo efficiency helps us freeze things when we're not making headshots. Uh, especially with the Maggie because we have the Sentinel Cryo. So this is a very god tier roll for this particular artifact in conjunction with the Maggie. Okay, uh, there's a, just one minor tweak, a couple minor tweaks to my builds. I no longer have fire points in Violent Momentum because this is not damage scaling um, by moving fast kind of build. I put an extra point in Violent Speed um, so we can move faster. It, this is the same thing that I did with the uh, with the Becca build, and I really just liked the feel of it. I liked it so much that I've just replicated it here. Uh, we only ever need three points for salvation when you're dealing with the Maggie. We never need to go down here because Maggie is a is a fan the hammer kind of gun, so violent violence does not help it at all. And as we know, multi pellet weapons with low base damage don't do well with playing dirty. Now here's the constriction. Here's the challenge. I have not specced in a good misfortune, which means when I go into the boss fight, I will not have always on access um, to keeping my action skills up. Uh, so, which means I need to get resets, which means I need to manage mobs. Right, so it makes it more challenging because I can't just kill all the mobs and just focus on Wotan. I have to always keep some of them alive. This way I can proc my Calm Cool Collected Resets because I don't have good misfortune to keep my action skills going indefinitely. Okay, so that's how the Doogie's rolling to make it even more interesting because it's scaled down to one player. So I don't want to be, you know, flossing like it's great because this is one player and not four player difficulty. So it's naturally easier. But we do, bam, we do max out the damage here because we are going to be bossing with the Maggie. And two points of borrowed time, so we have more time for resets. Y'all know what all this looks like. Uh, I know I should have specced into a uh, really expensive jacket. Too late. Whatever. Okay. So that's the build. Let's get... We have to wait for us, um, our drone to come back because that's where our damage is being doubled by Sentinel Cryo. Make sure everything is reloaded. Okay. Let's do this. Let's do it, do it. Okay, we're gonna set that up. We're not even gonna switch comms. We're just gonna keep our Maggie comm going the whole time that reload where are they gonna come from this time let's get some piss on them get a reset and this is why I like the turns feel see just interrupt his attack pattern free me up to do what I need to do and I I froze him from the side that's what happened oh shit need to get out of here because once he goes airborne um, it's gonna be a world ahead for us. He should be down now. No? Oh fuck. Let's get some healing. Okay. Let's get some piss on him. Let's do this right. Let's strip that shield. Let's get 
that up. Okay. Get more piss. And that's that. Maggie, who can't mob, who can't boss, is bossing and mobbing y'all. I need to get that reset. Get him. Good. Almost got him. See, that's why accuracy matters. I'm not worried about it. Headshot. He's done. What the hell? Let's get a barrier back up. All right. Let's get this guy. We're gonna keep these guys up so that uh, I get second wins if I need it. All right, it gets the extra sentinel cryo damage, and just like that, get it done. You can't be nice to some people. I was trying to leave you alive, leave you an opportunity to be useful to me. And what do you do? You shoot me. You know, how rude. How freaking rude. All right, let's get some piss on him. Get that shield stripped. We have turns field so we can stumble. Switch back to the Maggie. Let's get some more piss out. Yep, we should get a reset right in his chest. Cause ah man, we had an opportunity to get some more crits. What are we dealing with here? Let's get some piss on these guys. Two frozen. And Maggie, we, we can get close with the Maggie. You know, we don't have to find the sweet spot. I'm trying to trace this guy, get a kill, get this guy dead, 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 dead. All right, let's get some fists, and make this quick. And it's over. Yeah, Maggie has no trouble mobbing, bossing, whatever. The Maggie is the shit. Maggie is the shit, y'all. So I'm sorry, Thick. You you called it wrong on that one, buddy. I love you, but you called it wrong. You called it wrong, baby. What the hell is that? That was stupid. There's my reset. Oh, jump shot, jump shot, headshot. The most OP move in the game. The jump shot, headshot. See, I don't like to get close because whenever the, the drone drops the grenade, it hits you too. That's like overkill, baby. Oh my god. There's no kill like overkill. See what happens when you don't get the overkill shot? Right, come on down. Bring it, bring it, bring it, bring it. Go. I don't even need to put any piss on these guys. The Maggie's just wrecking. Maggie is just wrecking. I'm killing everything. I'm, I'm just murdering everything. Like I could have run, run past and then do like a speed run type thing, but why, right? The point is to showcase that the Maggie can mob, the Maggie can boss, the Maggie is a boss. And I'm just gonna floss and flex with the Maggie. Like the Maggie's not having any trouble now. If this was four player, uh, I would still get these kills. There's no question about that. We'll take a couple more shots, but that's about it. You know what I'm saying? So I don't want y'all to think that just because this is one, it's really fast and easy because it's one player, but it's not not uh, impossible to do. So wait, be patient. You know, I could put on my protein stop gap and do all that, but. But I'm not even gonna bother. And this is why I should have picked up. I know you're coming. All right, let's get you frozen again. Yeah. So this is what it would look like if that what, that whole interaction with that guy. Where the hell is he? Oh, now you show up, asshole. Okay. Yeah. So that interaction. He's coming. 
Ah, screw this. Gotcha. Okay. Pick that up. Throw that up. Shoot you in the face. Throw that up. Okay, put my stop yet back on. And where is this douchebag? Yeah, so I was saying before with the badass, the the couple clips required. So there'd be a couple clips for everybody instead of one clipping like I'm doing now. Right? So it'd be like two, three clipping to get it done at four player difficulty. But actually it would actually be less because of four player difficulty, instead of fucking around with these guys like I'm doing now, I would be pissing on everything. Alright, so before I engage any badass or heavyweight. Ah, crap. Need to wait for that to finish. I would just, you know, piss on them. And then it would be a one clip or a two clip. No question. You know what I'm saying? See, I just got pissed on. This is another reason I use the band of Sidorak. Because it comes right back even when I get pissed on and uh, my shield gets broken. These guys are so dead. Okay, so let's see what it would look like with the piss. Okay. That's what it looks like with the piss. So that's what would happen in four player difficulty. I just piss on everything and I'd still be as effective as I am being now. Like right now I don't have to piss on everything because it's with one player difficulty. So you know I can just take a badass down with one clip like that. Dogs, just just do this. But four player difficulty, I would be doing this. Get my shit back. Where'd you go? Alright, let's get this back. And what you're witnessing also is the benefits of the cryo efficiency. Because, because this is, does 100% cryo damage, even when I'm not landing headshots, I can still get that freeze because of the cryo efficiency increase of my artifact. Um. Yeah, so the 50% from the main icebreaker functionality and the 27% from the st extra stats. So, you know, when they want to turn to their sides or whatever, as long as you're spamming the shit out the trigger, so you're sending a shit ton of rounds down range, you know, you'll do enough damage that a cryo efficiency will hit them up. Like that. So if that wasn't a, a crit. Just need something between me and your breath. Alright, again, let's let's see the difference. That's what happens when you piss. That's why I've been practicing. Okay, this is a badass. Look at the difference. Get that reload. Where is he? Where'd he go? Hit him from the side. He got murdered from the side. Another one. We give two shits. We give two shits about your badassness. We give two shits. Now, we would have to two-clip him if this was four-player. All right, let's do some more pissing. But I just want you guys to see how you make this stuff work, right? Because it's not easy mode, per hey, se. There is some strategy at work here. There are some considerations trying to get this dog. All right. Where the hell is his head? Guy. I need to shoot above him. Got him. How the hell we pass this dude? Alright. Badass, so now we're doing more damage because we got that victory rush. I can't see shit. Really? So, the Maggie, clearly a very capable mobbing weapon uh, so far. I hope I've made that perfectly clear. Okay, what do we need to change? We're just going to put 
Um, by the way, so this is the stop gap that I was talking about in a previous video that, that Cab Flash hooked me up with. So thanks, Cab. This is my new baby. So 50% movement speed. So I'm going to be doing even more damage now. Um, okay, we're good. Let you do the work. At something, something important, or nothing at all. Who knows? 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 I'm waiting for my sentinel to start recharging. When it gets like halfway is when I jump down because by the time the animation is over, it should be back. I don't know if it resets. When you jump down, like just everything just auto resets because. It sees you as being in the new zone. I have no idea. I should try that out one of these days and get back to y'all. Now that is definitely your target. Light that giant bastard up. Don't you cross this one. Done. Alright. Oops, wrong one. Need to reset. So this is what I mean. I can't just spam the boss. Alright. Without my sentinel cryo. I'm not going to do shit for damage. Okay. Watch the difference. Let's get some of this on him. Yep. Need my reset. I need somebody to shoot. I just dodged bullets. Got my reset. By dodging bullets. And plus two projectiles. So people talking shit about plus two projectiles don't know what the fuck they're talking about. Let's get some fish on. Am I, why am I not hitting this guy? Alright. Get some things set up here. Leave one guy up. I, I can't do sh any damage without my Sentinel Cryer right now, so I'm actually going to switch to the slide. Wait for my Sentinel Cryo. Five seconds. Get some piss out. Not smart. You do have something for a second, okay. Again, we're waiting on our Sentinel Cryo. Sentinel Cryo. Go on then. Went to the wrong thing. Shoot him. Thank you. Time to get out. Out. Come on, come on, come on. Let's do it. Let's do it. 
get out. Why can't I slide? Wait for my barrier to come back. Check my ammo. 644. This is just so I don't get shot, so I don't have my barrier. Now I have my barrier. This is gonna be hard because I don't have uh, the Sentinel cryo on this guy. Where the hell is he? I don't have any of that hit him. Time to go. Need some healing. Come on, barrier, come on. Five seconds. Okay, there he is. Now we have our Sentinel Cryo. Let's get our piss. Double projectiles being a problem. Dead. Barra is almost back. That's my cue to slide the fuck on out of here. Three seconds. Just a little bit of damage on Lonely. I need to thin the herd because I can't get second wins off of these guys. So. in the herd a little bit. Okay. Time to get out. Actually, I don't need to do that. Let's... Let's be smart about it. While we wait... All right, we're good to go. So yeah, so this is you know you guys see that I'm not this is not a serious run. I'm just showcasing that the Maggie can do it for shits and giggles. All right, Bagger down. All right, get some piss, and then time for the murder station. And more piss. Can't get him killed. Ah, uh, nope. Let's not risk it, because if you go through his shield, you probably take some damage. This is thinner hurt a little bit. We'll leave that guy. Okay. Let's go finish that guy off. We don't have Sentinel Cryo, which is why it's taking so much effort. Let's get some more fists and then finish off the work. Okay. Moving. Moving. We're going to wait for Barrier to come back. So this is what happens when you don't have any points in Good Misfortune. You know, you got to kick it kind of old school. Alright, he has his shield up, so I'm going to use... Um, this the shield down. Way to go, way to go, way to go. Once the shield is down, though, it's all Maggie all the time, baby. All right, let's go. Ah, oh, man. All right, no, we can get a reset. If we smart, no, nah, we're not gonna get a reset with plus two projectiles. We need to get the unit. Get the hell out of here. All right, let's weaken this guy at least, and then we'll kill this guy though. All right. Can't get a reset off of this guy. 
no, he's dead. All right, no, we can't ton of resets off of, um, we hit his crit spot. We should be getting resets. Why are we getting resets? Oh, this is not good. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Get our help. Alright, I'm gonna play smart. Put some distance between him and us. You can't see me! You can. Alright, here we go. Everything is nice and juicy now. Alright, let's get the fist. And then let's bring this to a close. Leaving that death sphere for a second minute. Let's get some more piss. One more eruption. Let's get him erupting. I want to erupt all of you, okay? I want to erupt. My bullets in your face! So, who says, where's the head? Where's the brain? lead that shot yep all right so clearly the maggie has no problems with the raid now again if this was four players scaled we'd be in here another 10 minutes 15 minutes especially the Wotan fight right so we're really benefiting from the fact right now that Wotan has scaled down but as far as the mobbing is concerned which was uh, thick fellas original contention that the Maggie is not a good mobbing weapon. I hopefully I put that nonsense to rest. Um, we'll just look at the gear again and blah blah blah. Maggie, y'all know what's up. You know I did it in the beginning, I did it in the end, and this was a once again plus two projectiles, and we had no positive modifiers on our side, and we just wrecked it. So anyway, um, I want to thank you guys for watching, and I will catch you in the next one. Take it easy. Bye.